have somebody get up pretty high, but it's not like they've been taxed throughout the playoffs. Alexander Edler played 24-53, and he was the Exercising. highest in game two. So Edler, Bieksa, Sallow, and Earhart <laughs> will be leaned upon for the rest of this game. Let's just hope that Martin's okay. Anything north of the shoulders, boy, it's a scary, scary situation. All of this at 5.07 of the first period of Game 3 of the Stanley Cup final. And the Good exercise, Eric. We all hope for the best for Nathan Horton. The whole Vancouver bench is up as well, guys. Okay. I can tell you, from the emotions of playing in the Stanley Cup right. finals, to coming back right. home, to having the intensity and emotion that goes with that, it's a real subdued crowd and subdued bench right now that has to try to regroup. To me, now it's up to the power play to send a message. And the message is put the puck in the back of the net. It is an interference major. Five minutes. All right now for Boston, this has been their demise. It's incredible that a team could be in the Stanley Cup Finals with an 8.6 power play. But they do have something positive. One for three in game two in Vancouver. That broke a one for 32 string on the road. But no bigger time, Jim, for the Boston Brewers to try to get themselves into this series than this next five minutes of play. Vancouver has killed 16 of the last 18 penalties, and they'll send other top penalty killing unit of Kessler and Burroughs. The Exxon and Edler on the ice. Along with Michael Ryder now and Milan Lucic, so Ryder takes the place of Nathan Horton. Thomas Cabernet, Dennis Seidenberg knows it in Ochera again on the power play. And Seidenberg, who's a big shooter, dumps the puck in. Comes all the way back to Cabernet. Krejci, Seidenberg can't load up. Cabernet won't. Seidenberg in the slot. He has Michael Ryder. Milan Lucic, his pass hit a skate. Edler to Kessler. And up. And the Vancouver penalty killers scramble to change. Right now for Boston, they got to get their nerves back together. If you've seen a teammate go down, they got to get thick and hot through again. Great G to Milan Lucci. Salo came over to check him. Seidenberg tried to tip the puck. That's it. Take it away by Eagle Hamilton. Good Mason Ray. The one man to beat the Hamilton. They have left the shot that was washed and deflected in the corner by Cavalier. Seidenberg. Back by Mark Reck, so that Thomas Cabernet can lead the power play into the attacking zone. That's it, that's your Taken away by Raymond. Get him. Get him. Seidenberg with a shot deflected wide off Mark Reck. Reck jumped to the side of the net. Dennis Seidenberg passes off. David Krejci with Reck parked in front. Comes back to Cabernet. Back to Seidenberg. Reck screens. Cabernet shoots it wide by Reck. Cabernet again along the board. Trying to feed the puck in here. Grab my shot. Sweeps out away. Bowen is diving to clear it as Randy Mohawker. And actually changing his income. Look at it. Check me out. 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 There's a chance for an outnumbered attack there for Boston. Here's Cabernet on the other side. Tyler's on now with a big bomb of a shot. Beverly. Cabernet. Grab my shot. Looks at the net. Passes over to Chara. And the puck skips off his stick. Heavily. Reckie's at the side of the net now on the end board. Marchand is in the slot. Cabernet passes off. Six, 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 six. And Reckie couldn't put it hold against the Brittle Longo. Reckie again. Six, 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 and you'd expect big things out of him. He's a proven playoff performer. He has battled in front of the net and paid the price. 
When you have a player like Horton go out of your lineup, you need to have somebody else step up because Horton is one of your more skilled guys on the power play. Vancouver has to be careful. They're down one man. They killed off just over two minutes of this, but they can't take a second penalty to put them five on three. Krejci won the draw. He won it too well. He split his defense. You notice Char is on the right point now. In that last play, Caberlet was over there. Char was on the left. Twice the pass came in for a one time with the Caberlet didn't shoot. There's a no. deep foul goal. The Longo doesn't know where the puck is, and it's underneath him. That was a deflection, and he used Fred Eagle to make the save. You know, a lot of times when your power play is not working on the setup, you just try to make something happen on the rush. But this time, Boston gets a little bit of speed to the neutral zone. Friend. Almost a broken play at the last second. Friend. And a deflection that the girl Luongo had to be very alert to grab. And biting has always been a big part of this series, hasn't it? Remember the Burroughs bite? Well, Ricky, look here, you want to bite this? <laughs> they just won't let it go. It's unbelievable. Noise! I want to hear some noise! Hey! Noise! Noise! Clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your toes! Noise! Go, Canucks, go! Go, Canucks, go! Go, Canucks, go! Noise! I'm sorry. I threw my hat at you to try and get it on film and I threw it. You threw it. Here, Brad. Go, Canucks, go. 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 Noise! I want to hear some noise, voices! Tap oh, your no. hands, stomp your feet! Noise! No. Noise! No. No. Yes. <laughs> I want to hear some noise! I want to hear some noise! Help! Go, Canucks, go! Voices! Boy. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your towels! Oh, Jesus. Oh. In comes Thomas Cabernet. Right over the front of the net. Seidenberg over on the right side. Cabernet feeds him the puck.